trying to remember the genius, guys. Today, we're gonna be digging further into the storage unit we bought two days ago that we thought we were taking a massive L on. This company was owned by one of the high ups in an actual company called Made Pro. One of the high up there, guys, probably a millionaire losing his storage unit. But we thought this unit was a complete loss. I got mad, stopped the video, we left the facility. Well, we started going through more stuff. You'll see even more of this on our second channel on Friday. This unit is actually going to be very profitable. Some of the good stuff was in the back. We didn't follow our own rules. So today, we're gonna keep going. We have boxes we haven't looked through yet, and we've made a lot of money on this one. So let's get into it. So one of the first things I wanna show you, in the unit, you might've saw something that looked giant in silver. We got a whiteboard, and I'm not talking normal sized whiteboard. Look at this big boy over here. Look at the size of this guy. Stand this up. Ugh. Keep in mind, guys, I'm six foot six. Six foot six, look at the size of this monster here. So retail, these are selling new for about $360. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. But I'd say on average, $360. By the way, point out Baby Jeebus' Vegeta drawing on there. Maja Vegeta, tell me that's not super <laughs> sick. That took him like five minutes, yeah. it's crazy. But this on its own, like I said, new at $350. So. We're gonna have this listed for 200, really expecting to get between 100 and 150 on that. And that's just one of the good things to come out of it. So you guys seen the microwave in the main video that we put out. It's also gonna be on the second channel again. On Friday, make sure you check that video out. We started going through stuff, making a recap video just to see how much profit we can pull out of it and realize there's actually so much money in here. We just had to put a video out on the main channel showing you some of this stuff. So this right here may just look like a taped up box. Well, it is a taped up box, but the reason it is a taped up <laughs> I can't talk. The reason it's a taped up box is because what's in it is actually extremely valuable and I was just too impatient and excited to get it listed on eBay. So, you remember we found the monitor I showed you that said it looked like it could be expensive? It was actually a piece of a whole HP set that came with a CPU, I guess computers, I know it's not technically called a CPU, but it has an i7 processor, 12 gigs of RAM, two terabyte, I just did three finger, two terabyte hard drive, and the whole set was $800 new. The last one to sell on eBay sold for $680. So we popped that thing up on eBay right when I found that out, 600 bucks. You know, you gotta undercut people to make that money. That could pretty much pay for the entire unit. The whole thing in just one box in the back corner. So also in that same box of electronics, I pulled this thing out thinking it was just a router at first, but this is actually WD My Cloud, as you can see, and it's actually a four terabyte cloud hard drive that apparently you can use as like storage on your network so multiple computers can attach to it. But anyway, resale value, these are going for 100 to $150 between there. I listed ours at just 100 with shipping because I wanted to go on quickly. I just want stuff to move. But like I said, that, that box over there could literally make profit on the unit, not even including anything else. Now that we got some of the high end items out of the way, like I said, we have three tall boxes over here and another box that looks to be full of electronics you can't see in the back that we haven't even gone through yet. We're already in the green. Remember, we paid $570 plus fees. We were at almost 700 bucks in this unit. Those two things pretty much covered that. So let's see if we can find any more mystery in these boxes. All right, so I just tilted the box over. Let's see what else we can find in this electronics box. So we got a giant wire for one. And we also got a, what looks like a nice router actually. The Comcast, pff, I don't see the model number on it. It's supposed to be on the bottom, but it's a Comcast router. Usually for a decent router, we'll pull about 25 bucks plus shipping on eBay. So that's probably a good $20 there. An office phone, I don't really know what these go for, but I mean, even though wired phones are kind of outdated, still pretty much any business you go in or office, they have a wired phone. So that's probably got some type of resale value. By the way, if anyone's curious, it's a Cisco IP phone 303. We'll see what it's worth. We also got one of these thingies. Why does it have this? Have you ever seen one of these with those? I haven't, that's like a cable wire thing. Whole bunch of wires and we got a, ooh, this is like an office printer. Ooh, hold on, look at this. Check that sucker out. That's a nice printer, isn't it? MFC7360N. And it looks like it definitely has a built-in scanner on it. What, what do we got going on here? Somebody's payroll verification. How much do you think these maids were paid? I thought minimum wage in California was $15. They're getting paid $10 an hour. 
bad illegal stuff going on in this company. Bad. But it looks like we got a power wire and a bunch of more packing paper. We literally use like a pound of our packing paper today to get that computer and all that stuff, make sure it's perfect when it's shipped. But this printer might have some value. Let's get into one of the tall boxes. So we tipped down one of these long boxes. They're like five feet long. So let's see the barcode. I told you guys these are professionally packed by an expensive moving company, but they're in every single box. Let's see what we got in here. A funnel and that. That's my favorite. This is a cartridge toner or laser cartridge. What did I say? Cartridge toner? What is I don't know what I'm talking about, but that's, no, that's not new. This is probably, it might be new, or it might be their old one they put in there after they put the new one in the printer. So that's probably a case. We got a piece of metal. And whatever this is, green cycle, premium quality. It says used, not original on it. I don't know what this is. This is this another cartridge? Yeah. Great. All right. So this looks like a vacuum bag. This looks like another cartridge. This, what do you think these are? Oh yes. We can put this on our car now. Should burn it after with this. You know what? I'm not gonna hate on it. This unit turned out all right. It seemed bad, it did, it seemed bad. But you know what? It turned out all right. Are these all flags? These are all flags. Guys, if you'd like a made pro flag, let me know in the comments. You can fly it proudly and tell them Thank you for making treasure running with Jeeves some money. All right, what else do we got in here? We got, get out. Buckets, all this low end stuff like this is just really, you know, a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there at the flea market. We'll take it all there. What are these? Are these little stools? These are all, I don't know about where you guys at, do you guys go to auctions live? Do all the short people bring these to the auction so they can stand up and see into the unit? I always think it's funny, I don't know why. I guess it's funny to me being 6'5", but it's probably not too funny to everybody else. But, little stool, another little stool. Uh, what is this? Ooh, a sealed box. Uh, something buddy. It's tape, that is ripped from tape. So this looks like, oh, uh, that looks like a bunch of pieces that screw together to make like a, yeah, this thing, look. Baseboard buddy. So I guess something that cleans baseboard. It's gonna be my guess. I don't know where it came from, but you know what? It, it sounds right right there. But whatever it is on both sides, it's never been opened. So it's definitely something where I look up, see if it's worth listing on eBay, or if it's just another thing to take to the flea market and get what we can get for. What is this? A floor mat? Cool. Another thing, again, flea market, get what we can get for. Looks like there's a big boy in here. What are you? Oh boy, we got, let me turn the box around a little bit. Mm. So if you can't see it, it looks like we have another one of these plastic shelves in here, which is cool. If you see our shipping stuff over there, you see one of ours is already broken, but that's the ones we use for all of our shipping supplies and things like that. That one came broken. It did, I mean, they all came out of storage units. We didn't pay for any of them, so. They, I mean, I guess we did pay for the unit, but you know what I'm saying, no blabbering. I got another one of those, but I think they're like 40 bucks or more if you buy them new. Ugh, what is this? That's the question. Is that a vacuum? Sure it is. All right, well, what does it say? Needs new, I can't read your something, cable? Oh, it needs a new power cable. The handwriting's really bad. So I guess maybe it needs a new power cable, but maybe not. Sometimes people lie about things in storage units. Let's put that aside. We also got oops, one of these like sodium buckets, I call them, or main buckets, I guess. Get out. I just not want to cooperate with me. Another main bucket right here. And we got a spray bottle with a weird chemical in it. You ready? No. Might be. Uh, I don't want to make the joke. I don't because YouTube doesn't like it. But it, well, I was about to say it was a, a virus, but a certain kind of virus that people are freaking out about for no reason. Um, we got shelves, and I think that's literally all that's in that little box there, that big box. Let's see what's in this next tall box. Well, a bottle. I guarantee though, our flea market, all this cleaning supplies will sell. I guarantee it. Let's see. Let's pull out. Oh, get out of here. 
Well, we got another vacuum here. What does this one say? Labeled working. Huh? Labeled working. Alright. So, let's see. Do we have a model number on this sucker? Sanitaire by Electrolux uh, Heavy Duty Commercial. It doesn't really specify a model number or anything like that, so maybe that has some value. Another one. Well, this one is also working. Nice. Same thing, it looks like. A different bag, maybe. This one is dirty. Yeah, well, we got three giant bottles. Here. This right here. Another, nothing on it, so I'm going to go on the assumption and take label the broken one, so. That's how it works. And. That one, number 16, I'm gonna assume, again, that's probably a working vacuum. So if these things are even 25 bucks a piece, I mean, that could be a $100 box right there. But I'm gonna hope they're probably, since they're commercial, as it says, commercial vacuums, I'm gonna hope they have a little bit more value than that. If you guys know, make sure you let us know down in the comments below. Got a couple shorter boxes now. Let's see what's in these. I think we got three more, actually. Oh, that's pan. Two giant jugs. These two. Two giant jugs. Was that an insult? Was that, are you, no. are you talking about me? No! Whoa! <laughs> See what's in here. I definitely was not, but okay. I'm just, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. I'm usually like the king of dirty jokes and I let, didn't click with me. You I look didn't. so tall right now. Well, I mean, I am 6'5", you know. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> uh, that, that went on a different tangent there. This is a vacuum. A handheld vacuum. It's a sanitary commercial grade again. Yep, so hoping these vacuums have value. That's so just a piece to it. These pieces we found in the first part of the video, you, we see more of these things in part one, which will be on Friday. Technically, part two is on Thursday and part one's I'm on Friday, you, but we that's all right. We expect to make money off this unit. I, I thought we were literally going to be pennying everything and hoping to get most of our money back, but it's actually going to be a profitable unit. All right, short box number two. You know what? Ugh. Well, we got like a rack. I, oh my gosh. Guys, fat guy moment. That is legitimately ask her, ask baby Jeebus, ask mama Jeebus, one of my favorite foods in the world. Mozzarella cheese. Mm, especially fresh mozzarella. Everyone thinks it's gross. Go ahead and send it through the P.O. box. Let oh it all rot. Oh God. Imagine if it was actually in here. This is gloves and just other mis clean stuff. Mist. And well, you can see what these are. Yep. These are two more of the same exact vacuum we just pulled out of the other box. So I'm hoping because these things are commercial grade, they're not too old and they still hold more value than like a flea market vacuum that's 10 bucks. So, but even at 10 bucks, I mean, we have at least $100 in vacuum. So I'm not gonna complain. Next box, I think this might be the last one. And well, it looks like we got three more of those box. Oh, these ones, ooh, they're floor cleaner, it says. Those are full of cleaner. So they might go for a little bit more since they are floor cleaner. But we have cleaners, vacuums, 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 cleaners, and then that's pretty much the flea market stuff. Last thing guys, you saw it in the video, but again, there's the desk. It's got the rolling chair with it. What you see over there is our trash. That's all the trash we have for the unit. Not very much. Much of the paperwork's over there. Pretty much all that stuff. But you know what? Our recycling bin comes tomorrow. We have a whole empty recycling bin, so guess who's getting it at no charge? <laughs> but anyway, just wanted to make a follow-up video because a lot of you guys were curious about this unit thinking that we would make money on it. I was mad at the time. I threw it aside, didn't think we would. But as you can see, we're gonna make a pretty decent chunk of change on this unit I thought was utter crap. More so, of the story, don't give up hope. Even when you think it's gone, even when you can't find it. it just, you, sometimes you go into a situation with this, I wanna find this, and when it doesn't go the exact way you want it to, you get mad at it. Even though at the end of the day, we're still gonna make money on it, and you know what? It's, it's all good, it's all good. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're new. That is somebody messaging about buying that desk right now. Subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.